Hey, good day, friends. It's uh, Lance Plessig out here today on the um, 8th of October. It's beautiful down here in southeast Minnesota. As you can tell, we are uh, combining some soybeans and uh, they're running really good. Mid 70s as far as yield, moisture's down to like 9-10%. Uh, but more important than yield, we want to talk about stacking different enterprises or different crops into our rotation, uh, which is really important. And so here I'll turn around so you can see a little better. Uh, so here we are on a dairy farm, uh, southeast Minnesota near Lewiston. And uh, this farm is growing three crops in uh, two years time. So they grew corn silage on this field last year and then um, took the corn silage off and then immediately came and drilled uh, triticale at about 100 pounds of the acre. Took that off for forage then this spring and then uh, planted uh, these soybeans uh, here behind me. No-till planted them and so here we have an opportunity again to have three crops in two years. We also could actually come right back and plant like a cereal rye, another type of cover crop. It's still early enough. And um, so we could be, um, you know, adding some diversity to our rotation, uh, keeping a live root 24 seven. We're, we're cycling, we're pumping carbon into the ground, uh, having live roots 24 seven, you know, trying to minimize disturbance by doing the no-till. And so again, just wanted to provide some food for thought. This is kind of an update on a video I did earlier this spring on this same farm. And uh, I know Rob and his family are really happy with this part of their, their cropping rotation as they seek to add more cover crops into their farming operation. So uh, thanks for joining us. If you like our videos, give us a, a thumbs up. And lastly, choose to make it a great day, friends.